Hi everyone, I've just been working on my kiln today, um, just fixing up some of the plumbing, making it a bit more permanent, so I just thought I'd do a video and show you what I'm up to. Okay, I'll just turn the camera down. So, I've got my gas bottles here. I've, I was, um, I did just have them inside there where my kiln is, where that small bottle is there. But yeah, I wanted to get them outside for safety reasons, so I've moved them out here just sitting on little concrete slabs. Uh, I've got a tandem set up with pigtails here. I can run the bottles individually or together. I've got a little copper pipe coming off that going inside through the wall here. Inside here I have this copper pipe going to my regulator and a gauge. And I've got myself a four metre length of um, copper pipe inside here so uh, I'm doing away with the PVC pipe I had only cost me $30 to get the fittings put on and the ends flared on that so four metres of pipe runs around the side there uh, will run across this wall I'll just fix a piece of timber there and goes up to the back of the burner there this back outside. I'll just show you my burner quickly. So I made this burner. I just got the parts at a um, commercial gas gas company here in Australia. Um, so we've got a flame fail failure valve here, uh, running to a um, just a tap, a gas cock, uh, going to this little section here, it's called an aspirator I think, um, it allows you to control the primary air on the burner. Uh, this goes to a reducer from one inch to half inch into a about a two inch section of half inch water pipe, another reducer taking it back up to the one inch again to the flame retention nozzle. You can see there it's got little holes around there and it holds the flame on the end. This is the um, thermocouple for the flame failure valve. It operates a little solenoid in here. If the flame cuts out the gas gets stopped here. So I'll just um, put the tripod here. And I've also just gone a lot, gone around all the threads and um, taken it all apart and reapplied the um, yellow Teflon tape. It's recommended for LPG, propane gas fittings. And another good tip is just to have a container with a little paintbrush um, and just to go around on all your joins, all your threads when you've got gas running through and pressure. Um, with yeah, just with water with a little detergent. If there's any leaks, you'll have little uh, bubbles start to form on any joints that are leaking. So it's just a good idea to do that. All right, I'll just start the burner up and show you how it goes. This burner, uh, when I was building this burner, the biggest problem I had was um, getting the the orifice size right. Uh, I ended up with a 1 16th of an inch orifice size in this burner. I tried a few different sizes but that seemed to be the size that would um, burn the best. Those cockatoos are having a good time up there. Okay, I'll just light this up. Okay, so I'll just bring this um, camera around here so you can see that flame a bit better. So, that's not even running on a few mine cockatoos, so I'm trying to do a video here. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, we've got, uh, it's not, not even running on one PSI at the moment. As you can see, it puts out a fairly good flame, so that's a full oxidising or neutral flame with the primary air right open there and you can just easily spin that in and go to a reducing flame there 
a full reducing flame. So I'll just give it a bit more gas. So yeah, you can see it really has got some good output there. Uh, that's about all I wanted to say, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. Alright, see you everyone, bye.